Ross, um, you got there in the end, through to the semi-finals for the second successive year. Yeah, we um, made you know, made our, our go of it at times. Um, obviously, with sometimes when they go down to to ten men, it's um, it's hard to break them down, and we show that second half. You know, we quite similar to the party game when we got our goal early second half, and um, from there we tried to kick on, but they defended well, and we um, eventually ended ended up breaking them down. I think the key was just really keep believing in yourselves because you know up until uh, well when they scored you kind of went on the attack and tried to get back in the game and eventually got there but just keep believing really that you get over the line. Yeah, that was it. I mean, like I said, they, they defended well, um, but we uh, we had the majority of the ball, maybe seventy percent of the ball. So we um, I think I heard most shouting from the side that just be patient, just be patient, and um, you know we had to try and move them about a little bit. Um, got a big back four, so obviously pumping the ball into the box at times was was tough. So we um, had to try and get down the side and get crosses in and things like that. So um, tried various different things and showed it how it, you know how tight it was. It went, went all the way down to, to the wire. Sending off it altered the game. It's a kind of talking point. What did you see of it? Um, I think the um, the big lad is, deserves to go. I think he's sending raised his arms to, to Josh. I think it was. So um, in terms of that, I think that's a sending off. I think obviously the I think four or five other players got booked. I don't know what that's for. I don't know how you pick out uh, four or five players. From a melee, but um, I think the ref, ref did a decent job in the end. It's hard when, when it all kicks off, and it's from the gaffer and um, all the management staff and the players get get involved. It's uh, it's hard to keep a lid on it. So um, I think he handled it quite well. Gary scored to get you back on level terms, and you know yourself, you've scored a few goals in your time, but uh, more important than that? No, no, possibly not. We um, scored maybe five, I think it was last year. So always looking to try and chip in, and um, want to do better than last year. I've started slow, I'm, I'm, I managed to get one before now, so. It's always nice to score. Um, trying to trying to add that to my game, but, um, but more, yeah, more importantly, we've um, it's the goal that takes us through. You made the semi-finals last year. You're there again. Another remarkable achievement for the club. Yeah, exactly. If you consider club size and resources and all that, um, it's, a, it's a brilliant achievement for um, even to beat a team like Dundee at home. You know, they're a great team. Got got a lot of young players, small players who are nimble on the feet and um, very very good footballers. So. For us to um, to get back into the game and, and to go on to win the game was um, it's a big achievement for everyone, um, everyone involved in the club. So everyone needs a good pat on the back. The rest of the action takes place tomorrow. You can afford now to, to put your feet up and, and see who joins you in the semi-final draw. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's um, it's nice to be able to, to be in the draw and then um, yeah, you can sit back and um, and watch the result. <laughs> watch the draw come in tomorrow. So um, yeah, we'll look forward to it. It's, it's going to be a big day for everyone. Big semi-final like last year. Um, so we'll sit back and, um, and see who we've got, but there's, there's no easy teams left in it. So. Excellent, Ross. Cheers for your time, mate. No worries. All right.